thank you so much for coming everyone. Um, my name is Dr. Jan Steele and I am a physical therapist. I began treating uh, humans approximately 15 years ago and I treated humans for 12 years and uh, then moved into animals about three years ago. And um, if you think about the definition of physical therapy, it's basically restoration of function. It can apply to pretty much any species. You know, humans want to restore their function so that they can get up and down off a chair, so they can walk, so they can get in and out of the car, so they can play whatever sport they want, dress themselves, go to the bathroom, etc. Right? Well, dogs and cats want to do the same thing, and so do rabbits. Rabbits want to be able to hop in and out of their litter box. They want to be able to play. They want to hop around the house. They want to, some of my rabbit owners have uh, rabbit doors. Um, so that the rabbits can go in and out of the backyard, so they need to be able to do that as well. There's stairs in the house. The rabbits need to be able to hop up and down the stairs. So all of those things are functional activities that the rabbits need to do. In addition to that, rabbits also need to be able to groom themselves in order to sit up on their hind limbs, in order to, um, um, to lick their front paws. Um, some of them I've watched actually like to eat, holding their food. Um, in front of them. All of that takes core stability. You need not only strength in hind limbs, but you also need core stability in order to do that. So if I start using those general terms, you can start to see how it applies from species to species to species. So even um, the things that you would need to do for core stability, stand up straight to have good posture, your rabbit needs to be able to do for core stability to stand up straight and have good posture. Okay, um, And then general injuries can happen as well. Um, just like you or I can sprain our knee, a rabbit can sprain a knee also. And through the course of spraining the knee, have difficulty with swelling, have difficulty with range, not want to use the leg, um, then start hopping um, on three legs, maybe, maybe compensate, create a problem in the front limbs. Um, all those things can happen in, in physical therapy and uh, animal rehabilitation can help with all of that. So it's not just a matter of um, pain control. And um, I think that does tend to be a little bit of a misconception. Most of the time, if there is pain, there's a dysfunction. Not all the time, though. I mean, you or I sometimes will wake up with a headache and it doesn't interfere with what we do that day. We just have a headache. So there's no interference of function, there's just pain, okay? Then there's times when pain exists and function, and a problem with function exists, okay? But there's also times when there is no pain and a functional problem exists, okay? Now one of those examples may be the tripod rabbit, okay? The tripod rabbit may not have any pain, but still might have some dysfunction in the way he or she tries to hop. If we allow that dysfunction to continue, even though there's no pain, we're eventually going to cause a compensatory pattern somewhere else. We are going to cause pain, and now we're going to overuse the other three legs. We're going to end up with front limb issues if it was a hind limb um, amputation, um, vice versa if it was the other way around. See what I'm getting at? So, um, in other words, pain is not always a wonderful way to determine whether or not um, um, an animal needs um, rehabilitation or not. So that's why I draw that huge distinction. So physical rehabilitation is more about function um, as opposed to pain. Okay? Sometimes if pain is the only problem, once the pain goes away, the function comes back. But those, um, those kinds of, um, of, of, of occurrences, honestly, are pretty few and far between. Um, usually, if some, especially, like say someone has pain in their ankle, they walk around on it for a while, the pain eventually goes, goes away. Um, when the pain goes away, they start to walk on it more, but now they realize that they have lost muscle in the leg that they weren't using. They don't have pain anymore, but now it's weak. So now the leg drops out on them, they trip, they catch it on curbs when they try to step over it. You know, even though the pain is gone, now the muscle weakness is there. And that's what physical therapy can help with. So that's the big distinction I really wanted to just point out. Because um, I get um, a lot of questions from people that ask, how do I know when my rabbit, my cat, 
my turtle? How do I know when they need rehabilitation? And you know that they need rehabilitation if there's an interference in function. If there's something that that rabbit wants to do, needs to do, or you want the rabbit to be able to do, you know, um, you want the rabbit to be able to hop up the step in order to get into um, the backyard garden. And the rabbit obviously can't. Okay, those would be reasons why um, you would choose to go to rehab.